Have you had a body paint moment where like you were doing what you were doing a character or a look or something like that and about halfway through you were like this one was a mistake i should not have done this one yes yeah. <laughs> the hard ones when i'm like it's already pretty late and i'm like not even halfway done this yeah. is not going well yeah. <laughs> and then jehovah's witnesses knock at the door <laughs> <laughs> i have answered the door for pizza and stuff like that and sometimes i forget i'm made up and I'll be like, they were looking at me funny. What's good, humble fam? How about y'all come on in and let's have us another visit here on the Humble Show. I am Grant Fletcher being joined as always, by my co-hosts, Moonbeam Hallows and Brandon Cox, and also being joined, as always, by Always Makeup, one of our amazing uh, costume contest judges cosplay guests Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. at Louisiana Comic Con, March 9th and 10th. What's up, everybody? Hey, yeah, doing cool, as always. Hello. As always. Always, thanks for joining us here <laughs> on the show, um, especially because... You stream like six nights a week, and this is your night off, and you're spending it with us. So we appreciate that. Thank you. Of yeah. course. I've been cutting it a little. I've been doing a little less here lately yeah. um, to give myself a little breather. I was, doing, I was doing it every day for like a while, yeah. and I just like started cutting out a few days here and there. Um, but yeah, still pretty regular. I <laughs> like like going to... Yeah, I, I don't think anybody's going to, like, criticize that. No, uh, <laughs> give yourself at least a day off for us, for us, you know, yeah, then, then get back to the grind, you know. <laughs> yeah, to make sure that, like, Anything you're good for, for us so that we can continue to enjoy the content that you put out, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I, I remember, like, when we first had you as a, as a where we're first talking about you as being a guest at My Hero, and... uh we, like on the podcast, like the first thing we said was, she streams all the time. And she <laughs> hustles. Yeah. She is it's always a hustling. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot. It's so fun. I love it. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, I remember like, I think the first time I heard that you were doing a, a panel or something like that. <laughs> and that's whenever I was like, wow, that's uh, that's a commitment. And what's crazy is like, because because you specialize in in, you know, makeup, right? As the name intends. And special effects makeup yes. and uh, like body paint type stuff as well. <laughs> and it's awesome. Cause I see your work and it's like the way you do it, you make it look so simple. But I also know that like, I couldn't even envision this, like in my mind's eye, the way that you do it. Like, tell me, tell us about a little bit, like what was your first, I don't know, exposure to that kind of thing, that body paint that affects makeup. And then when were you like, Oh, yeah, I could do that. Oh, my gosh. I went down a rabbit hole. Okay. <laughs> Someone saw my regular makeup and was like, hey, are you a makeup artist? You should be. And I was like, oh, probably I could do that, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I started watching, like, YouTube videos on how to do makeup. And then, of course, I found all the Halloween stuff. And I fell down the rabbit hole of like special effects and all of that. I started my little Instagram. I made some busted knuckles like nine years ago and was like, Oh, I'm a pro. Yeah. <laughs> I can awesome. do this. And it's just crazy how much like practicing has gotten me super far because those busted knuckles were questionable. <laughs> um, yeah. But you know, now I'm bringing some prosthetics to sell at my booth um that are like other people can enjoy and they're good enough for that like i just i guess i couldn't imagine making something that someone else would like want it's just crazy yeah yeah that's wild like i I guess so you talk about the the busted knuckles and like your (laughs) earlier work 
I mean, how long ago would you say? Because I mean, I know that this is a silly question because an artist is not ever going to like rest on their laurels, right? You're never going to be like, oh, I'm where I need to be exactly. But yeah, nobody's ever happy. At what point in time would you say you, at least like looking back on your work, were you like, okay, I was starting to get it right about here? Oh, like maybe in the past year, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. I go back further and I'm like, no, nah, that's trash. <laughs> Other people would probably be like, oh, that's still amazing or whatever. But I'm like, nah, you should see the stuff I make now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you put in a lot of work. And I've mentioned it probably a couple times on the show. I'm sure you know. But, I mean, when you were in Navi uh, from the Avatar movies back at Alabama Comic Con last September. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, look at all the work that came into this. And like you said, there's prosthetics and everything like that. And then at the end of the day, during the costume contest, I realized that your face was glowing. And there were like lights that were changing colors and like flashing underneath your prosthetics. And it was such a, it was like, a, it was a subtle thing. You know what I mean? Like you couldn't see it unless you were up close. And yet you still took the time to do all of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to get that subtle effect. It was really cool. It's the extra mile. I, I don't think know. it was melting off your face at that idea. point in the day. It was a long day. Oh my gosh. I was sweating from the eye sockets, like the eye holes. Mm -hmm. was, eye it, dripped in my, it dripped into my eyeball while we were on stage. And oh, I was like, oh, oh yeah. right. I think you were crying. If you're sweating from the <laughs> eye it, uh, came, it looked like I was crying. It was yeah. sweat. <laughs> like, the, could it just like pool in the, uh, in the bottom part God. of the prosthetic there? And then it finally just like gave way. Yeah, yeah. So it started to wow. kind of build up underneath there. And I think it was because of the fiber optic. So those parts oh. weren't like glued down all the way because of those, like, I guess, under there. Yeah. And so the sweat just started to kind of build up over time. And it just started to go out. And I was like, the, the, oh, the my God. <laughs> so, so the next time I watch The Green Mile or The Shawshank Redemption, and I'm watching with my boys... I'm gonna be like, look, look, you sacks of garbage. I'm, I'm, I'm sweating from the eyeballs. I'm sweating from the. Sweat. It's yeah. just sweat. <laughs> yeah, go with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had we had a strange cat cosplay on with us before, and we were asked. Somebody had asked her um, about the paint or the. Itch, making your face itch. Oh yeah, I yeah. yeah, yeah. She said that uh, you know, right? do this trick. Yeah, to take a toothpick and just yeah. like touch it. I saw that podcast and heard that, and I was like, "What a clever idea!" So I need to keep some toothpicks on me for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So you don't I, mess up your face. I got. I gotta say, in, in this in this era of just like you know unabashed, you know, oh, get that money. Like I'm still a huge fan of like. You know, punk DIY ethics. Oh yeah, and I it's, I always find it so fascinating and impressive. Not only with you know, uh, so so cosplayers in general, but especially with you turning your body into a canvas. I absolutely love like not only just you know, just in general, but like from an ethics standpoint, just like I I, I love turning oneself into a piece of art, and you do it so well. Thank you. It really is amazing. I don't know how you do that. That took a lot of practice. Um, I'm sure. I guess the painting backwards and then the painting my right arm with my left hand, oh, I'm right handed. Yes. That was the biggest str struggle. And like, I'm almost ambidextrous now from doing <laughs> it so long. And I'm like, I need to keep practicing. This is cool. Like, I can use both hands yeah. now. Well, it's I guess crazy. when you were streaming, you know, six nights a week, it probably, uh, you know, you probably got your practice pretty quick, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, the body paints were like once a week for a while. Yeah. Um, Because those are, I mean, it takes up to 12 hours to do those. Yeah. Like the full torso ones take a long time. <laughs> I have no doubt. Yeah. And then you have to and then you have day. to take it off. That's the thing too. Then it has to also wash off before you go to bed. I, I would imagine that uh you don't want to wake up like with green Gamora paint all over your your uh your your bedspread. God, I mean no. if, no. if if I, I was in that sort of situation where I was that talented, like I've gone to like work the next day with like you know stamps from like shows on me and like you know wristbands like i don't care i'm tired i would just go to go to work like that i <laughs> that would absolutely be the case 
I've heard other body painters have like gone to sleep or even they were too tired to finish. So they went like took a nap and yeah. woke back up yeah. and finished painting. And I'm like, there's no way I could live my life like that. I cannot go to bed dirty. Like, How could you do that? Yeah, I'll stay yeah. up all night just to make sure that I'm like clean before bed. I don't know. Yeah. It's just a thing for me. I could never. Have you had a, a body paint um, moment where like you were doing what you were doing a character or a look or something like that. And about halfway through, you were like, this one was a mistake. I should not have done this one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the hard ones when I'm like, it's already pretty late and I'm like, not even halfway done. This yeah. is not going well. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jehovah's witnesses knock at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I have answered the door for pizza and stuff like that. And sometimes I forget I'm made up and I'll be like, they were looking at me funny. So I imagine like answering the door like that, you know, like, and it's, it's the pizza guy and like the person on the other end is like, Oh wow! I hope they didn't think anything weird was going on. It's it's kind of like a a cashier like getting a bunch of ones. I, I've had like dudes in their like working cashier jobs. I've had like dudes in their fifties be like, "Hey, you know, I'm not a stripper or anything." I'm like, I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> you don't have to explain yourself. Yeah, you're 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 in there. You're in the restaurant industry. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. You can tell. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, this is this is a lady doing art. This is not any, you know, she's not actually a not, you know, uh, from Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. Yeah. Well, Brandon, oh, um, I heard that you uh, you had a little excitement in your life this week. What happened? <sighs> it wasn't even really excitement as much as it was. I, I am someone who likes to uh, be given. A, a set of rules, whether they be assumed or spoken. And then I just like push them as far as I can. Okay. <laughs> um, so I am in a position in life right now where I, uh, I live a four minute walking distance from my place of work. It's really convenient. I love it. It's wonderful. Uh, the trick to that, the caveat is that I was walking through a public school uh, parking lot. And I knew eventually someone was going to get real uppity and be like, hey, you can't just be a guy and live your life and be a cool guy with a job that's four minutes away. You, you know, we, we have to come down on you. You can't and walk through happened. a public parking lot. Are you kidding me? Exactly. And it's not like you're walking leisurely. I've, Brandon walks faster than anyone I've ever met in my life. I walk like a <laughs> maniac. Brandon walks. <laughs> He's just got and, one speed. Uh, so I, I wa so uh, it was uh, it was yesterday. I walked through this parking lot, and this guy sees me, and he's like, "Hey, can I help you?" And I was like, "No, nah, man, I'm good. Thank you, though." I I, I did say that. Um, he's like, you, "You can't, you can't, you got business here. You just can't be walking through here." Say, so I, I, I I said, "Look," because I'm I I I kind of had prepped myself with this. Look. I've been doing this since June. I've been doing this. The cops have seen me. Quit bothering me. And I just keep on. And uh, the guy does not respond to me. He he frowns, does a real swift, like, 180. And uh, he quickly walks in the other direction. I get to my place of work. And uh, a cop is already there. He's very kind. He's like, hey, look. The school doesn't want you to be walking through the parking lot. He's, I, I, I am not, uh, now I, I, he was a very kind individual and I, I completely understood. You don't want random adults walking through the high school parking lot. I understand that. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to find an alternate route. I'm gonna have to just like walk in the road, I suppose, or, uh, do they do didn't say anything about cutting through the football field? Just go through the football. That is field. true. Y'all didn't say I couldn't that do is, the football field, and I actually did because, like, I, I will utilize the uh, the track after work. I'm like, hey, can I like go after you know at post five p.m. and like still use the track as I have been? I'm like, yeah, we we don't care. Hmm. Um. So all that said, um, and I I I, I hope that the uh, the the 
the the the humble fan base won't turn on me because I'm about to say some shit. Um, <laughs> this I, is why they're here. <laughs> I I used to not. Um, I, I used to really get very aggro, very angry. I, I, this sort of thing used to keep me up at night. Like I'm not bothering anybody, but you said that I can't do it, so I'm angry. I have felt um, no animosity and uh, no um, just no anger. Like it, it hasn't bothered me much at all, despite the fact that it's changing my daily process. And I think that the main reason is because uh, the guy that, that accosted me, the guy that uh, confronted me, was very ugly. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he, he was... Um, what do you look like? He if you had to compare him like, to like a movie character or a TV character, he looked like the physical equivalent of having a dull pebble, not a sharp pebble, but a dull pebble in your shoe. Like you look at him and you got <laughs> it was it was a it was a strong inconvenience. Uh so first of all, and I I, I let me let me check my privilege. I have a full head of hair. Right. Um this guy was like perfectly like symmetrically like you know like symmetrically bald like right here is where his hairline stopped he had a he had a head of hair past it but forward just that line right there com like it completely stopped it so it, he looked like he had a fucked up helmet on um <laughs> uh and i guess like i just see this i i saw his action i saw how egregiously ugly he was and I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course he would do this. And I hope that he got all the pleasure in the world out of uh, stopping someone doing this horribly egregious thing. My favorite part about that was that he, he didn't whip out a cell phone. No. Nope. He turned around and went inside to use a landline because that was he, the, most, the, the most effective way for him to get this done. Yeah, because like, had he like called the police in front of me, I would have like gone up to his phone and started saying "penis," yeah, penis. You know, all the things that you would normally do. Yeah, yeah, of course. yeah, 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 yeah. Brittany's gonna leave. She's gonna drop off this car. <laughs> I wish you would have gotten his name, like uh, who he was or what kind of car he drove, because I bet I'd know him. Yeah, like, I'm, <laughs> he he had this sort of face and the sort like. He had the sort of face and the sort of behavior that this was not an isolated incident. This wasn't okay. the first time. Yeah, like if if he if he sees someone get too much fried chicken out of the Shoney's buffet, he's 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 going to alert the manager. Hey, but, uh, hey, yeah, man, honestly, based on, all of us. based on how you said how the cops responded, it's almost like yeah, he does this. He calls us. Yeah, yeah. He's, this is you know, his thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. his activity. <laughs> you I know, had some we, excitement. We, you know, we're talking about activities because oh, Brandon is a. We talked about this on the last episode a little bit with Must Die. How Brandon's a creature of habit, and he's got his oh, things yeah. he does, right? Absolutely. This and is on Saturday, because we talk about alone. every Saturday morning, Brandon has to give us an update now <laughs> about, because Brandon's We've ritual. We've never talked about this. Well, oh, okay, we have, fine. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I don't want to get too far into this, but Brandon's no, Saturday no, no, morning ritual is he's got to get Taco Bell for breakfast. That's the thing, right? Uh, it's it's, you know, it's, it's Taco Bell for lunch. Oh, is it lunch? Okay, you're right. You're right. 11 a.m.? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. 11 a.m. Yeah, that's lunchtime. And oh, yeah. it was just funny because I came across a video, and I had to send it to Brandon. Basically, <laughs> Taco Bell, you know how, like, Apple does their, like, rele their big release event where, like, the CEO comes out and talks about all the stuff they have coming out? Yes. Taco Bell did that. Taco Bell came out to tell you <laughs> to Taco do Bell about all the, the exciting things. What's that? They, Taco Bell had their own E3. They had their own E3. They had their own E3. One of the things that they said, though, was that the Baja Blast is 20 years old this year. And that was yeah. from like a couple episodes ago. We talked about this. It's still good. good. Look, I, hey, I got. I'm not a, I'm not a big original uh, Mountain Dew fan, but a Baja Blast, I'm, you know, every like. Few months, I'll do a Baja Blast. Sure, I do. Yeah. The, I do the zero, the, the zero sugar Baja yeah. Blast. That is what I get every. It's better time. than the other one. Is it, it really? Is. All right, yeah. I'm gonna have to try it now. I have to try it. Oh, now. dude, it's yeah. real good. But yeah. we are. I, I think we all are creatures of habit in some kind of way. Like we all have some kind of thing that we've got to do around whatever. Well, like, before we talk about that, yeah, Moonbeam said that she had some action happening. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I mean, it's not as cool as Brandon going to Taco <laughs> Bell every. Every 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 yeah every yeah. Brandon's gonna start wearing a leather jacket everywhere he goes and have an Look, unlit cigarette in his mouth now and uh, yeah he's you know he's a bad boy now. 
I just this is the thing. Bra- Brandon, he gets the same thing every Saturday, but every Saturday he would text us and be like, "Hey, they're playing the song uh, low key. They're yes. playing it. it comes on at." 1102 or 1104 1102 oh, yeah. it was such every a every saturday such a and killer r and he's like film. this song is a is a you know is great and then all of a sudden they stopped playing music at taco bell on yeah. saturday so like brandon would text us and be like no music in Taco Bell, and this has been going on for at least two months. Yeah, they haven't had <laughs> music at Taco Bell on Sunday, Saturday. And the when thing he is, is crunch wrap supreme. So, uh, Moonbeam, I don't know if you know this, but like shortly before I quit my uh, my gas station job, whenever I was a teenager, to work at the at at the Grindhouse, um, they instated. Like so, it was it was a, it was a gas station. They they sold cigarettes and like you know, you know they they played nothing uh, for about two months. My, my last two months there, nothing but uh, Christian praise and worship music. Well, that's all they play now. Yep, that at all those locations, like you're pumping your gas, you want to hear some like Three Six Mafia or no, something. No, you're not going to hear that. You're, you're going to be hear some Jesus love yeah. you. Oh, I want to be your husband. Yeah, like you, like, you're going to oh. play. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You hear a bunch of yeah that. Well, what's know? worse is is it the praise and worship songs, or is it like you know when you go to a regional chain grocery store? Yeah, and they're just playing like really low quality covers of popular songs yeah no, uh, which man. one of those do you think they're playing the, no they're man. playing uh, they're playing the message i think the serious the satellite the message the christian station okay Every which time. i don't have to beef with man i love jesus but i mean i i i cannot listen to to Christian music every day yeah no like praise and worship music is uh not it's good. fine it's fine for for occasions I don't um, need to hear it. I thought you like religious music. I thought you like ministry. <laughs> I love yeah. ministry. Jesus built my hot rod. <laughs> I like I like ministry. Uh I like a lot of uh I like I almost said I like a lot of Christian bands, but just so everybody knows, I know ministry is not No. It's not that is no, not what I'm saying. That was a joke, but <laughs> it was it was a joke, yeah. but I, I was about to say I like a lot of Christian bands. Yeah. But anyway, if it ain't Switchfoot, don't talk to me. I like him. <laughs> I I was uh, back in um, so this was back in 2004, 2005, shortly before I moved to Philadelphia, Mississippi. I was at Six Flags over Texas, and I convinced my friend who it was the reason why we were there. He like we went to Six Flags to see Switchfoot, and I convinced him. That that is not what he wanted to do. Yeah, and we we left we, we left without seeing Switchfoot, and that was a good day. I think you dodged a bullet. Switchfoot yeah. wasn't bad. I've I've seen them. I saw them with the deadline. I'm not saying oh. they're bad. I'm just not saying they're particularly good either. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean yeah. they're whatever. <laughs> they're whatever. Uh, <laughs> they're whatever. I was, uh, I was, you know, um, back in 1999, they were. They well, were that's true. They were they were the jam back then. I was telling someone the other day. I think uh, in my mind, Hinder and Three Days Grace are the same band. Like if Pretty you played much. me a Hinder song and told me it was Three Days Grace or vice versa, I would believe you. Man, I don't know. Like, and so I don't know. I, here's the thing: I couldn't tell you what the difference is in their sounds or their songs or anything like that. I'm just saying in my brain, if you said Hinder or Three Days Grace, I'd believe you. Whatever, which, whatever you said. So uh, I will Supplies say that, them. like, uh, just from a very, like, I, I was never into those butt rock acts, but, like, uh, Three Days Grace just seems so uh, infant. They, they, they were just so aggro. Like, it just sounded like, you know, like, oh, my mom said I can't have a, I can't pursue my motocross career. <laughs> Um, Brittany, we're sorry. <laughs> someone actually did describe them to me the other day as divorced dad rock, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that does sound." Yeah, actually. dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but- Y'all ready for my excitement? Yes. Yeah, Tell me about go. your excitement. I want to hear it. Okay. It's. I feel like I've built it up. <laughs> we've we've spent so much time getting to it without actually getting to it that now I'm expecting a lot. It's all hot. Oh, all man. right. So today at seven thirty, 
I had to be at the dentist, which meant I had to get the kids to school at like seven. Yeah. And I'll get them up at six. So I'm like, y'all got 40 minutes to get dressed. Yeah. I know this experience. Look, I have a seven year old. I I know this experience. It takes them 40 minutes to get their shit together. It it takes me like a solid 40 minutes in the morning. Yeah. I said, we got to go. And we we went, we got there, we made it to school, made it to school on time, and made it to work on time. And, and Greg started on the radio. He's taken, uh, took over for for Stew Daddy in the morning. Yeah, uh, he's got to get up at like four o'clock in the morning now. Yeah. yeah so, so Greg Greg uh, Greg was on the radio this morning. So I listened to that, and and he's like playing Rilo Kylie and. Oh, and, nice! Uh, yeah, he played. He played "Must Die" and yeah, uh, like, oh, cool. uh, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure the people yeah, of the Jim show Blossoms, probably loved that. Susie and the Banshees and oh yeah, and uh, Paula Cole. Anyway, um, and Jungle Love. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I said all that to say I was at the dentist this morning, mm. and uh, I just I'm, I'm just getting a lot new aligner. So you, you know, I just usually go in. They hand me those, huh? You got more buttons on your teeth? No, same buttons. Same buttons. Okay. Same, same buttons, different aligners. Okay. So I thought, you know, they were just going to pop them in and I was going to get to, you know, to leave. And then she, she leans the chair back. And I'm like, well, maybe she just wants to take a look. Yeah. You're like, sure this was not in the program. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't in the program. So I'm leaning back and she's like all talking to me about, I hear Greg on the radio <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so like she starts flossing my teeth with sandpaper what? have y'all heard this have y'all ever heard what? this oh wait you're being serious <laughs> i thought you were exaggerating i swear like she's getting in there and it's just like shh, 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 shh. Uh-uh. right here and right here and and like i don't really like people messing with this this is all I got some days. Is a <laughs> okay. smile. Yeah. And like she's like and I and and she's so beautiful and charming and sweet that I'll just let her do it. You know, I'm just like, you just gonna take <laughs> them teeth out? You just gonna leave me with bald teeth? Like like sandpaper. <laughs> like just, like she's and she was like I, I finally I was like, hey, what you what you doing? <laughs> she, <laughs> What's going on in there? <laughs> it was like some people, she said, some people will use a drill, but I feel like it takes too much of the tooth off. Wait, so so, so, hold up. So did, did you confirm that it was sandpaper? It was dental floss made out of sandpaper, Brandon. Oh. It was about that thick, like thick, like tall, you know, about tooth tall and just like fine tooth sandpaper and just and i could just feel like the tooth dust the enamel just coming off yeah and she was like oh maybe, maybe it's microscopic honey you're not gonna notice except for when you go to floss and it just goes straight to your gum just it's just I, like yeah but she 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 gave me a little madonna uh-oh. gap and then she like did all my little bottom ones she was like, oh, yeah, sometimes the teeth just get, we just got to make some space. And I'm like, by cutting my dang, just sawing tooth off. Anyway, so that happened today. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh. I didn't get any warning. I All of a just, sudden, I'm just getting flossed with sandpaper. I think so you just I'm unlocked. I'm a beautiful dentist. Now I just unlocked a new fear for so many people out there just now. I oh, yeah. think yeah. they should have said yeah. something. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. Now I know, like, why in my office, like, people will take like half day or a full day to go to Jackson to like get their teeth or like to get a checkup. Like, there's so many people in my office that will like forego Philadelphia altogether and spend an entire day driving to Jackson. They're to- dumb because yeah, we have the like best ninety minutes away. In Toby County, no. Yeah. Doctor Steele, Doctor Saxon. They're amazing, but they're not going to tell you before they start flossing those teeth. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Steve, Dr. Jackson. Y'all, uh, if you want to show some, throw us some sponsorship dollars, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Follow yeah. them on Facebook. <laughs> no, doc, no. Look. Yeah. My dentist is a one-stop shop. You can get Botox. You can get lip fillers. You can get 
you get braces, you can get freaking uh, your teeth whitened, you can get your teeth flossed with freaking sandpaper, yeah. you can get a root canal. <laughs> You, you, you can you can buy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plan your trip to Bali if you want to. Man, I want to go to Bali. I yeah. le- uh, hey, I saw a reel the other day. It looks cool. It actually is supposed to be like real inexpensive too. So Bali is that where they make the is that where they make the Bollywood movies? Probably. Um, no, no, that would be actually in India. But if you told me, are Bali, we talking yeah, about B B A L I Bali? Yeah, B A L I. Yeah, yeah. That's where movie. is that? I didn't I graduate from high school. I don't even school. know, but it looks inexpensive, so I, I, I'm going to go. And, and nice. I want to go there. So Actually, I did, I did graduate from high school. And I, <laughs> but, I, but I don't tell no one. It's a secret. It was public high school, just like me, though, so that's fine. You yeah, know, it was public okay. school. Look at us now. Yeah. Look at us now. Look at us. All right. Got Let into me tell college, you something. Too. Let me tell you something. We work with a famous people. Um, we're important. Look at us now. We're doing fine. Um, <laughs> they're not even the <laughs> impressive ones. Yeah, it's people like always make up. That's right. That's right. right. That's what I had to bring <laughs> you on here. You're bringing an, a, an air of legitimacy at. to us, is what it is. And the thing is, because we have Louisiana Comic Con coming up, and we are gonna by the time this drops, we're about to be heading to Pensacon in a couple days. Yeah. Uh, if we have a chance, we're gonna we're record there. If not, we'll figure it out what we're gonna do. But if not, we'll record all together again at Louisiana Comic Con. We're we'll, we'll we'll have it worked out. But I think that we all seem to seem to have these like convention habits i guess you know something you got to have somewhere you got to go something you got to do like what would we all say is like I, this is a thing we do we gotta eat mexican after okay. set up okay see i'm glad you mentioned that because it, it has become a tradition like last year i think it became a tradition at least as, and as not everybody's invited yeah it's, yeah it's, yeah. It's, yeah we talked about that as well the question people. is who all is going to be there yeah yeah <laughs> but no we tend to get mexican right if there's okay, a Bucky's, so, I got to go to Bucky's. If if it's a place, it's not going to happen in Lafayette. But if there's a Bucky's around, I got to go to Bucky's. So I'll give you. It's like whenever I'm on the road, what I have to do for some reason, the only time I ever um, have a zero bar is when I'm on the road. I don't know why. Yeah, I love zero bar. On a road trip, I, I, I got to right get a zero it. bar at some point in time. I don't know why. It's the only time it's I get them. In and, and uh, coconut water too for me for whatever. Yep. Reason. Yes, I'm on. Uh, yes, yes. Dude, like, we have the same like yeah. road trip. Uh, diet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zero bars yeah, and yeah. coconut water. Go on the trip together. Yeah, I'm real bad. I'm real bad on show weekends about eating right. I, I it doesn't happen that much. But I don't know who. Uh, what What about you, Moomy? Is there something like you got to have on a, a a con weekend? Well, look. Here's the thing. I um I have to get. And I don't have to get it. It's one of those things. It's like Megan always goes to Starbucks because yeah. if we're somewhere and we don't know of a local coffee shop, that's, that's going to be like good. We're like, well, we know what the swill at Starbucks tastes like. So we right, can yeah. get that. And, um, I don't know. I always get a, I always get a matcha latte. I like the way you said that. Like, I, I, you know, I, I don't I don't know. Like something that I just have to have yeah. on yeah. show weekend. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, dry shampoo and Yeah. Dry shampoo. Hey, look, sometimes it's just that item that like gets you through like to help you survive. Yeah, the coffee oh, thing. I mean, is I gotta have energy drinks and, and dry shampoo and uh yeah. you know, I mean you know this. We know, we know this that I have to have some kind of energy drink yeah yes purple water right it, it, it's just some kind of something or just the kim kardashian yeah, yeah whatever i is. gotta have something that tastes chemically yeah uh, yeah 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 chemically yeah. oh i'm i'm I, gonna <laughs> look halfway through the day i'm drinking a cup of black coffee and eating a piece of pepperoni pizza um at the same time at the same time yeah you're just like dunking it it's what I do. It's what I do. It, it, it's a very uh, <laughs> one time, sorry. Bro. One time I was in a back hallway and uh, Sean, one of our our awesome volunteers, comes up to me. He's like, "You good?" And I was like, "Sean, I'm eating pepperoni pizza next to a garbage can. I'm living the dream right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just living that pop punk life. Yeah, <laughs> pop punk life. <laughs> did I did I ever tell you guys this is this is completely off the subject. Okay. But well, that's what our show is about. <laughs> did I ever tell y'all about the, the time that uh, they put in a chemical toilet here 
in Calico where I live. Is that my worst? Did I ever tell you? Uh, That's like what you have to have in like a in like a camper but, kind of thing or like, something hold like on, that. Hold on, I, I feel like I mean I haven't seen like the Toxic Avenger remake, but I feel like there's a chemical toilet involved. Probably. Look, man, look, I don't even know when this happened. I think like in the fifth, the forties or fifties. Chemical but, toilets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were they everybody had an outhouse and they were putting in a they were putting in a okay a new one. They were putting in a. A but new outhouse. Was, a high-tech yes, one this, for the time. This was a chemical toilet. Yeah, okay. And the whole neighborhood came out to watch <laughs> them put this in. Yeah. And the, the fella had, uh, you know, been told, like, you know, how it works and everything. And um, they were standing around watching, you know, watching. And finally, somebody was like, hey, so when you go what happens to it if it don't just hit the ground? And uh, the guy said, well, the, the guy that was putting it in, just real learned, learned guy, he said, well, the chimneys eat it. And uh, they were like, oh, okay, okay. And then, you know, somebody was like, maybe... I'm the one that needs to step up and say what's a chimney because <laughs> like nobody. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I feel like yeah. y'all don't know, and yet yeah. you're just acting like you do. Like, yeah, yeah. So, like, it's, it's, a, it's a cryptid from that one episode well, that we were. Finally, in. Yeah, finally, finally, somebody said, "Hey, man, what's a chimney?" And he said, "I don't know. I guess it's some kind of shit-eating rat." <laughs> It was a chemical toilet, and he saw a chemical, <laughs> so he just assumed it was chim <laughs> chimneys were just these rats that come in. Oh, anyway. Oh my God! Wow. Crazy back in the South, back in the day. We just invented the yeah, really. I'm going to uh, unleash the, uh, the 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 chemical loaded tea. Yeah, uh, there we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It, it, it'll 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 clear you out and pep you up. Yeah, there we go. New product for the grindhouse. Whenever it opens up in June, just yeah, yeah. That's what there. we'll call it. We'll call it the chimney. What about you? Always, do you have a an item or something you need to do or have? At a convention, we DoorDash Starbucks okay. the past yeah. couple of cons. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I had a weird question because y'all were talking about coconut water and stuff. Do y'all drink yeah. tomato juice? <laughs> I do. Uh, I <laughs> you're not talking about like are you talking about like V8? Or are you talking about like straight up like canned tomato juice? V8's fine. That's what I have right now. That's I love tomato right. juice. Look, but I like just tomato juice. I do too. So what's funny is we're talking uh, about things you have to have just when you're traveling, and my wife has to have tomato juice on an airplane. Oh wow! Well, yes, oh, my yeah. sister told me that about the airplane, and now every time there's I like a it. thing. Oh, yeah, I don't know what the thing is. But got, yeah. Humble fam, if you know, let me let me know. I want to hear about it. It's nice on a plane. Yeah. I, I can't do it with ice though. I have to just have it just no just ice. straight. No just chaser. run either way. Well, my I, look, my mama, she'll go get her a little tomato juice and put it in a cup, and then she puts salt and pepper in it. And I'm like, <laughs> it's a Bloody doing? Mary a without the vodka. Yeah. Little, little, <laughs> she's like, it's just a tomato juice, but it needs a little salt and pepper in it. And uh, so that's what she does. God, I love tomato juice. And you know what? It's if you so drink it before bed, you won't get cramps. Leg really? cramps. Wow. Yeah. When's the last time you got a it's Charlie horse? Frontier science right there. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> Drink you some tomato, tomato juice, juice before bed, and it well, you'll, uh, you'll be all cured. So, so someone is mine. Well, I won't tonight. So, so here's the thing: like, I, I love the taste of tomato, whether it be warm or cold or any other fashion. But, um, God, I, I, I feel like drinking like V8 juice is just like churched up vomit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the spicy kind. It's good. Uh, yeah, it's it's real good vomit, y'all. I promise. I like. I, I don't have anything against it. So, you gotta get yeah. the the spicy V8. Yeah, I like a yeah, the, the spicy the vomit. Yeah. You, don't like, you don't like a Bloody Mary, Brandon? No. Well, well I, I, I do. I feel like I feel like most of the time that that I'm told that like I will appreciate a a, a good Bloody Mary. 
is in like almost like semi hostage situations. Like I'm <laughs> having a like you know a pretty rowdy hangover and like no no here you don't understand. <laughs> Everything will be better. Like, okay, this tastes like dirty vomit. Oh, oh whatever. <laughs> it is good. And then if you get the That's right good. kind of Bloody Mary, they they put I, I, a little I, snack I, on no, there like, for you. Like, <laughs> take, like, take this a, a few steps back. If someone like I, I do enjoy a good Bloody Mary, but like as long as it's not made like uh, Lee kind of like uh hinted at this at the last show, like uh, he and I both hate the uh, Southern tradition of like, oh, I, I'll wait until you see the way I make it. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Um, like, we both hate that shit. And like, I uh, I really hate that. Like, anytime I have a mediocre Bloody Mary, someone's like, hey, wait until you, I make it. Wait until you see I make it. And like, I have it. And it's just like gritty. It's like salt and like cayenne pepper. It's like, uh yeah, this tastes really great. It tastes like salt and cayenne pepper. Yeah, it's great, right? <laughs> it tastes like straight cocktail sauce. Yeah, I got one one time, and it was like it tasted like they put ketchup and horseradish and like just waved a bottle of vodka over it. And I was yeah. like, let's drink this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, man. That's what I'm saying. If you go to a restaurant or a bar or whatever, and they're not using Zing Zing, if they don't know what they're doing, it's not going to come out right. Um, like you really gotta know your stuff if you're if you're doing it without the correct. But it's yeah. so simple, like it's not it's not a complicated. No, I mean you you say that right, but people think, still find a way to I've mess had, it up. Yeah, look, I've had some I've had some terrible Bloody Marys. Yeah, I've, I've had some really good ones, and nine times out of ten, it's made with zing zing. Yep. But like, so yeah, not that complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's well, like I mean, mess up even with the right in. ingredients, but still, it's it's just one of those things. If you get the proportions just off a little bit, it's 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 not great. But yeah, yeah it's a gamble. If you're, it, it's always a gamble getting a Bloody Mary in a new place. That's what I'm gonna say. Look, I think we just all need to drink tomato soup the day after. Okay, okay, make you some like, grilled cheese. Make you some grilled cheese, dude. Seriously, a nice grilled cheese, right? A nice right. grilled do cheese. Some, do some brioche with it, maybe. That good cheese. Yeah. Look. Yeah. And, and hey, if you want to pour some vodka in that tomato soup, go ahead. Hey, look, I have you guys you seen people life. putting the mayonnaise on the outside of the bread? Yeah, I'm, I'm down I've with done it. Okay. It's good. How'd it work? Yeah. Yeah. It's Try good. It. I never it's tried good. it. Yeah. Try I'm not it. against it. It's good. It's I mean, good. It's but like, who would ever, who thought of that? I don't know. Well, I mean, like, oh, mayonnaise, is, <laughs> mayonnaise is oil. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, like if you, it makes sense. If you are in dire straits and need to like stir fry or like you know saute something, use mayonnaise. It's fine. I'll tell you it's what fine. I do. Uh, um, well, if we uh, I'll tell you real quick because we we still have something to get to before we wrap this thing up. But um, my dad used to make for me, and now I make them for my daughter, and she's addicted to these. Is you know you do like scrambled eggs on toast with mayo on the toast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some sandwiches, you know, she just calls them egg sandwiches, which is fine. But, yes. uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. That's an egg all sandwich right. all day, baby. Yeah. That's an open face <laughs> egg sandwich. Yeah. No, I use it. I do. I don't do the open face. We go all the way. We go, we go whole bread. You chocolate in up. We, we, you we, we, we bread it sandwich? up in our house. Yeah. We, we ain't afraid yeah. of carbs here. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. Before we wrap this thing up, I, I got a trivia game for us to play. And, oh, uh, I'm gonna be terrible. You, you say awesome. this, but you we might you have guessed you have the guest advantage. So. Yeah, <laughs> the, the <laughs> guests <laughs> always win somehow. So uh, this is called since we got Louisiana Comic Con coming up. This l- game is called Louisiana Movie Lines, and these are all lines from movies based in Louisiana. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, read a movie line, and y'all just <laughs> shout out the answer. You know, whenever you think you have it, okay. we're shouting out the name of the movie. Name of the movie. Name of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, the first one here is, and you can feel free to interrupt me if you think you know it, but uh, the dark gift is different for each of us. But one thing is true for us all we go stronger as we go along. Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday is not set in Louisiana. I can tell you that much right now. It sounds kind of familiar. Oh, I need I a know. cheat sheet. Yeah. It does sound familiar. <laughs> it should sound familiar. Dark gift is different for each of us. 
But the one thing is true for us all. We grow stronger as we go along. The Dark Gift. That's the, uh, that's the giveaway right there. All right. Are uh, we giving up on that? We're on that one. Y'all are going to be real mad. This is, this is Interview with the Vampire. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I did shut a That's out. my least favorite Anne Rice book. Yeah. Um, I, I, and it's, it's not that it wasn't a bad book. It was that Louie was such a P-U-S-S-Y. Yeah. Well, one thing I'll tell you about the movie, too, is it's it's enjoyable until you get to the end. Because when you get to the end, you feel like you've only seen part of a movie. You know what I mean? Like, like it Tom ends and you're like, where's bad. the rest of the movie? But you could tell yeah. they were trying to do a series that just never happened, I guess. But, yeah. um, you know, they did more in that, in that universe, but not that series. So, anyways. All right. Tom Cruise was fat. Here's another one. And this line is delivered by someone we've worked with before. Uh, go to bed, y'all from Shreveport. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did they say this in a movie? It's in a movie. Go to bed, y'all from Shreveport. Jim Cummings <laughs> delivers that line. He's playing oh, I mean, an oh, insect. Shreveport. <laughs> it's a Disney movie. I mean, is it ants? Is it, no. it is the Princess and the Frog. It's the movie. He's the uh Oh, uh, oh. He says we're from somewhere far away and he goes, "Oh, y'all are from Shreveport because Shreveport is at the opposite corner they of the state not, of New yeah. Orleans." Yeah. Was he the was he the alligator or the the firefly? He the, yeah, he was the lightning but he was uh Raymond. Yeah. Well, yeah. how you like that? I only saw that movie one time. I need to give it a couple right, more watch. Let's try this one. Who can who can name this one first? Captain Insano shows no mercy. That's the line. Spider-Man. <laughs> Sp yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> Why is Spider-Man? I don't I don't, I'm, I'm shocked that no one knows this one. <laughs> I'm shocked. Captain Insano Captain shows no mercy. Captain How do we have Insano. no points? Okay. Y'all don't know this one. It is, uh, I told it's, you. It's, uh, the Water Boy is the movie. Okay. That's yeah. the most obscure line in that. You should no, have said. Not, me to no, kill it is not him. the most obscure line. I'm you taking wait, a I'm taking you a should break. have said, uh, uh, what's the one thing that the, the guy says? I what? Have what? It if you'd have said it. That's some high quality H2O. That would have been one. Uh, yeah, I didn't, we yeah. didn't have gotten that one. Dad giveaway. All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Here's another one. I was born under unusual circumstances. Oh, that's, um, oh, shoot. God, what is that movie? That sounds familiar. No, I, I know this movie. <laughs> no. Brandon knows it. Uh, it. Brad Pitt is in this movie. Yeah, I was going to say, it's the second Brad Pitt movie in this list. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what it is. Well, what it's is the one it? where he ages backwards. Yeah, say it. Yeah, what's it called? The, uh, mm -hmm. the Legend of uh, Bilbo Blanks. Yeah, you, uh, you, you uh, kind of have like it. the structure of the title. Yeah, it's uh, the... The curious of, of Benjamin Buttons. The, the curious, curious what of Benjamin Button? This life, curious life of Benjamin Button. No, like if you were a detective, you're working. Curious on face of Benjamin Button. Yes, Brandon. I don't think I saw what that. What is it? <laughs> yeah. Curious. I'm gonna give y'all each a point because you worked together curious on that one. Case curious of case of Benjamin, Benjamin Button. Button. That's a movie that I saw one time, effort. and I said, "I'm glad I saw okay. that." Now I never want to see it again. All right, yeah, what about this? Right, I have right, always yeah. depended on the kindness of strangers. Soul playing. Dog on it. That sounds familiar barbershop. too, but I don't know. Oh. No, it's not barbershop. It barbershop? I've always been on oh. the kindness of strangers. I believed it. Shrek. It's not Shrek Forever After. That's the movie. No. Y'all, <laughs> this is a streetcar named Desire. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Are you. Nobody saw that. All right. <laughs> no one knows the Captain Say No line. Nobody saw a streetcar named Desire. What are we doing yeah. here? This is our last episode. I'm We're terrible. not doing the rest of it. I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like you're pulling. You should have been like Stella. I would have been like, hey, well, yeah, I could just give time. you the answer. I guess. I mean, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, what about uh, y'all aren't gonna, are not going to know this one. This one is in here just for me. Uh, much beauty in the swamp. If own if you only look. Much beauty in the swamp. If you only look. I, I feel like whoever said that has never seen a swamp. 
You might say this uh, if you are a Swamp Thing, because that is the title of the movie. Swamp Thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I threw in the uh, I threw in the Swamp Thing one there because for me because I like Swamp Thing. I have Swamp Thing tattooed on me actually. Oh damn! Do you really? It's really? on my arm. Yeah, I'll show you, but you can't. I don't know if you can see it from y'all. Won't be able to see it. I'll show. Oh, you on your shirt, man. Show What's us one my there. shirt. My shirt right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is the Undertaker. Sure is. Um, this is a very old shirt that a friend of mine found on etsy um there's like somebody who just like they find old wrestling shirts from wherever they can find them and they resell them on etsy so good for them yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's like she was like yeah they had some really old uh wrestlemania shirts like or like a very old wrestlemania shirts and they were like a hundred dollars for a shirt because you you know you can't find them anymore so yeah odd and you could only get them like on the night off you know yeah so, all right, look, here's the deal. There's, I gave Moonbeam and Brandon, I gave you each, each one. We got a tie between the two of you. And Always could actually come in. I only have one left here to break the tie. She could come in and just, like, you know, steal it, and then steal there's a three-way tie. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. Here. So it's just whoever, whoever yells it out first. The final line I have for you is, Wolfman's got nards. Little monsters squad. Monster squad. <laughs> Two movies together, but somehow landed on the correct one. <laughs> so just kidding. Hey, look, Monster Squad. It is Monster Squad. Little Monsters, though. Um, Howie Mandel and Fred Savage, I Ben do, Savage. I, mean, I want to show my daughter that Jenny movie. Lewis. What? No, was she in that? Yeah. I was she? No. Both the Savages are in it, though. Somebody um, was in it. I want to show my daughter that movie, but I don't like. I remember being a kid and being a little freaked out by the villain at the end when you see his actual like monster form you know oh um, yeah so i don't know yeah. how that would play you go out. around to the back of his head and it's all like rah, rah, rah. yeah 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 <laughs> it's weird man it's freaky it's freaky and yeah. um like, we're gonna be uh mixing it up this weekend at pensacon so if y'all are seeing this uh before we head out there make sure you come over there to pensacon come say hi to us um always tell us where we can find you what you have going on uh, what you're looking forward to most at Louisiana Comic Con? Everything, you know, whatever you want to talk about. The floor is yours. This is uh, this is your moment. I'm on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm always makeup everywhere. That's like three words. Always makeup. Um, I stream on Twitch at least three days a week right now. Um, everywhere else is the same thing. Instagram, you can see all my work there. Um, but yeah, I'm coming to Louisiana Comic Con. We have a workshop demo situation. It's going to be like a two hour thing where I demonstrate how to apply prosthetics and how to blend them into your skin, paint them, all of that. And I also will have them available. I have some examples. Whoa! Um, Whoa! So you can purchase them at my booth too. And it'll be the same things that I'll be like applying in the little demo. And yeah, these are actually specifically uh, prosthetic transfers. So they're really easy to apply. You kind of apply them like fake tattoos, like temporary tattoos. Oh, cool. Ooh. So they're user friendly and uh, I'm really excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be dope. That'll that's be the fun. highlight. I, I <laughs> if you're even like partially somewhat um, interested in the, in the process, I think you got to go to the workshop. Um, oh yeah especially you have two hours normally i mean something like that i mean people get a panel for an hour so if you've got two hours to really delve into it and um you know really show everybody just the the fundamentals i think that's that's gonna be awesome it'll be fun and very educational and we can chat about all the prosthetic special effects stuff so yeah if you're interested in makeup and stuff it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time oh yeah Heck yeah awesome. Yeah, make sure when you come to Louisiana Comic Con, you stop by the merch booth and say hi to Brandon over there. Come see me on the main stage. Uh, We're we'll okay, uh, watching a bag. So I might be there if I'm not at the workshop. That's true. Brandon might just go to the workshop. Oh, yeah. Brandon's going to have some help this In uh, which case, be sure to stop by the merch booth. Oh, right, right. uh, what, what, oh what, what, I didn't what? tell you. Yeah, I got Angie coming. Right on. Andy, Angie's overqualified. That, she's Brandon. absolutely overqualified. <laughs> I should have her doing something more important. Hey, selling you gotta you gotta pay attention to what you're doing when you're selling merch. 
Okay. Look, I just can't put um, anybody with Brandon. I mean, you know what I mean? That's like, what I'm I can't just do that. No. Yeah. Yeah. They, they can't be too chatty. They can't be not chatty at all. They can't sleep. I put yeah. somebody with him one time, and like he said that every time he'd look over, they'd either be asleep or on their phone. Yeah. 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 And, uh, or sleep on that. the phone. Yeah. 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 Which that, that benefits nobody. <laughs> yeah. I can't just put just anybody with Brandon. No, of course not. Yeah. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen, y'all. And look, uh, we will be back here next week for another visit on the Humble Show. Y'all, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You drop us a like and a comment and uh, follow us on all of our socials as well because we're having a good time out there. And again, we're going to have a great time here next week on the Humble Show. But until then, stay humble. Stay humble.